is Dr. Brian Ciccarelli. I was an orthopedic surgeon for almost 30 years, specializing in shoulders and knees and other sports medicine related conditions. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about my own journey into why I'm having shoulder replacement surgery and what led me up to this uh, uh, decision. Over the course of my career, I probably did close to 10,000 surgeries and probably saw close to 100,000 or more patients. So why am I myself getting surgery? Well, over the course of the last, I would say, 10 to 15 years, I've had progressive right shoulder pain. I'm right-hand dominant. I used my right arm in high school and Little League and college to pitch. And about 15 years or so ago, I started having a lot of shoulder pain. Uh, at that point, I had a surgery myself and uh, it didn't afford me the relief I was expecting. So after waiting and trying other things for another year, I had a second so uh, shoulder surgery. Uh, that seemed to help quite a bit. And I would say up until the last two or three years, my shoulder was okay. Didn't bother me, except when I used it too much, but I was able to live with it. My own shoulder pain is, is somewhat of a dull, achy type pain. I never really have any sharp, incapacitating pain, but it seems like it's really a dull toothache that really never resolves. Um, the thing that's most troublesome, however, is it bothers me at night. So I am tossing and turning. Every two or three hours, I wake myself by moving my arm a certain way, and it becomes quite frustrating, and uh, lack of sleep is never good for anybody. So over the last couple of years, much like I would recommend that my own patients, I tried different medications, anti-inflammatories such as Aleve or prescription Celebrex. I've tried over-the-counter topical agents like Icy Hot. I've tried some supplements um, and some alternative medicines. Actually had uh, two shots recently of cortisone, neither of which afforded me enough relief that I felt that it was a good way to continue to treat my shoulder. So as I got closer to making a decision on having shoulder surgery, I initially sought out a doctor that really specializes in shoulder replacement. I knew that that's what I needed and I wanted to do my research on physicians that specialize in shoulder replacement. So like myself, I would encourage anybody that's getting ready to undergo a surgical procedure to explore the uh, internet. Certainly there's good information out there. You can go to uh, several sites that are recognized by insurance companies and hospital groups that give ratings to physicians. You can also get information on where they were educated, what training they have, uh, and really you can get other patient reviews, which I think are sometimes very helpful. So as I was exploring different treatments for my shoulder, I found that several of those treatments gave me some relief. Um, but it seemed that the relief was very short-lived and didn't help me enough that it changed the course of my uh, arthritis in my shoulder. So I didn't want to stay on medication long-term as they also have side effects. Um, and it wasn't affording me enough relief to continue to do that. My condition is an arthritic shoulder, so I really have worn out the cartilage or the gristle that covers the bone, and now I'm rubbing bone on bone. So it limits my motion. I don't have nearly the range of motion that I have in the other shoulder. And when I do move my arm or try to lift anything, it causes discomfort. So I need a total shoulder replacement. And what that means is they will cut off the ball of my upper bone here called the humerus, replace it with a metal ball, and then replace part of the socket with a plastic socket. Um, I'll be in a sling for about six weeks. I'll be going through extensive physical therapy and probably a, a recovery somewhere between six months and a year before I'm finally able to do everything I want to do, hopefully without pain. 
Well, having a shoulder replacement is primarily done for pain relief. And I'm hoping, if nothing else, that I finally get a full night's sleep without having to position my arm in a certain manner just to get comfortable. Ultimately, I would like to be able to use my arm without having to think about how I position it. Uh, even as simple as lifting a cup of coffee to my mouth sometimes causes discomfort. So again, my goal is to have functional motion without pain, ultimately uh, returning to being able to throw a baseball or hitting a golf ball. Something along those lines would be very um, uh, satisfying to me. So I'd like all of you to follow me on this journey. I think it could be helpful for all of you to see uh, what decisions I make, what obstacles I may have to overcome, and ultimately I would like you to follow my progress to see how going from a painful condition to a painless condition can be rewarding on so many levels. Hey everyone, just uh, waiting around. Surgery is tomorrow at 10 o'clock. I have to be there at seven in the morning. Um, I'm not allowed to drink or eat anything after midnight. So my wife, Kim and I just went out for, oh, go figure an Italian meal. Um, so just gonna hang around. I'll see you tomorrow on my way to the OR. Well, I had my IV started and just talked to the anesthesiologist, wait for my surgery, which is going to be about an hour from now. Uh, first time I've really felt anxious about having surgery, but looking forward to getting my shoulder done. Talk to you soon. Please join us and follow us on this segment, Surgeon Facing Surgery. We'll keep you updated.